ऑफ जानवरी लीड कोड चैलेंज आई होप ऑल ऑफ यूर इन अ ग्रेट स्पिरिट एंड बाय द वे दिस पेंटिंग इज मेड बाय मी सो आई बी शेव आई हैव क्रिएटेड न्यू वॉल आई हैव गॉट माई पेंटिंग फ्रेम्ड एंड दर इज अ वेरी गुड सरप्राइज फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू सो स्टे ट्यून्ड आई विल बी शोइंग यू समथिंग रियली इंटरेस्टिंग now let's focus back on to the problem the question that we have in today is non decreasing subsequences and the question says you are given an array of integers what do you need to identify you need to identify the number of unique non decreasing subsequences that exist in this entire array with size greater than or equal to 2 so do you remember anything after reading this question the question itself gives you the hint when you have to count all possibilities we will go by the approach of backtracking and whenever i hear the word backtracking i get a big smile on my face because backtracking is something that we are masters of so the size of coding decoded would know that we have a template that we use in all the backtracking questions and if you are new then this playlist is for you go through the first video backtracking template i have clearly explained how backtracking template actually works and we apply the same template to each and every question that has been listed over here and today as well we will apply the same concept of backtracking so i would urge you guys to try this question first this template first and then walk through today's question followed by if you need more practice then the entire list is for you uh start walking through the video that i am attaching in the description below and this is the backtracking template uh we will use this template again on to solving today's question it is nothing extraordinary it's a very simple concept and those who have mastered it in the past really stay happy with all the backtracking questions for those who are new let me just briefly explain how backtracking actually works backtracking is nothing fancy and extraordinary it's nothing but recursion with a tweak and the tweak is a important concept of backtracking so let's walk through the solution and then we will try to map it to the example in the first go we have created a set and why set although the return type is a list because set will help us remove and handle duplicates so we have created list a set of list of integers and when we will be returning our answer we will return new array list and this answer will be passed over there it will take care of casting this set into a list so remember array list supports a method wherein you pass in a set to it and it will cast it into an array list now let's proceed ahead in the at the first statement i have initialized it to a new hash set and why hash set because we have set over here <coughs> then we have written the dfs or the recursion method and this recursion method accepts three parameters the first one is your input array the second one is the starting point where you are starting the input progression and the third one is the current state of your list so what is the current state of the list as we are processing the array we are adding elements onto it we are deleting elements onto it and this current list will actually take care of it so as remember only those list that are increasing or and non decreasing in nature rather non decreasing in nature will be added onto current list and how is this being taken care of i'll talk about it in the later section but as soon as you find that the current array list size happens to be greater than z, greater than 2 that means we have found one subsequence what are we going to do in those cases will be uh, will be adding those the moving ahead i have created a for loop which is the basic practice of every backtracking problem we start it from the current index which is being passed over here we go up till the end of the array and what do we do we check whether the last element added into the list is less than or equal to the current element under consideration at the ith index if this condition is met that means we are forming a non decreasing pattern as a result of which we are happy to add the current element under consideration which is nums of i into our current list we go ahead and add it over there so this step is of addition of a new element we recurse it over using the recursion tree using the same helper method what do we pass we pass in nums since we have Uh, already added nums at the ith index this time we'll be starting from i plus 1 and we pass in the same current list array a list that we have been tracking so far onto this recursion helper method once we are done with it what do we do we simply remove the last element that was added in the previous step from the current list and this is it
so once the recursion tree completes it will give you the answer think of it as you cre you are cre basically creating pairs when you see 6 is greater than 4 that means you will be creating 4 and 6 as an entity and progressing ahead towards next elements and when you are re recursing back you will be deleting 6 from it and thinking of uh, more possibilities in, an, in, a, in those cases you will be clubbing 4 and 7 together. So if you are not able to understand don't worry walk through these templates and everything will be crystal clear to you. Over to you guys the effort is all yours I can only be the catalyst and I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye take care have a great day ahead.